um we are starting nibandh mala today which is the third paper uh, in the third pariksha of chittur uh, third pariksha is vichakshana um and uh, in the third paper we have it is a grammar paper usually so in this uh, text nibandh mala we have a couple of essays the other two texts for this are um adena sandhi vivekaha and samasa kusumavali there is also dhatu roopa parichaya uh dhatu chandrika um these are the other three books that you have to study along with nibandha mala um maybe during uh, a question paper discussion i will talk about how much marks is allotted for each section and all that so sandhi vivekaha is a very small simple book but uh, uh, which we have already studied uh, in uh, uh, other uh, um, before this and samasa kusumavali is also another very small introduction into samasas nibandha mala is a collection of essays uh, that has been prepared by someone called n krishnamacharya Uh, uh as part of chitur syllabus and these essays you study these so that you uh, uh, get some idea about how to write on your own given a topic so sometimes we are left with the, we don't know we don't understand how to creatively express certain things right so we don't know how to break down things or Uh, 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 try to weave a story around one point idella uh, vandu uh, uh, with just one point he might write a paragraph in this so this is how to develop your points how to uh, creatively write sometimes in india adu with the indian education we don't have an exposure to writing long long essays like this so these help us the same way we have another uh, text called nibandha stabakam for the fourth level which has some 30 essays which is even more difficult than this nibandha mala and uh, those essays also actually give you an idea of how to write uh, 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 even whether it is creatively or just to express your points in a better manner whatever you want however you want to weave the story around the whole thing so let's start with just one mangala shlokam i picked it up from uh, uh, this is a saraswati stotram from rudra yamalam or something so shuklam brahma vichara sara paramam adyam jagat vyapini veena pustaka dharini abhayadam jadyanth karapaham haste sphatika malikam vidadhatim padmasane samsthitam vandetam parameshwarim bhagavatim buddhi pradam sharadam Uh, the next shloka is actually a very familiar shloka we had that shloka as a school prayer yakundendu tushara haradavala ya shubhra vastra vrata adu it's a very popular shloka this is the uh, second third shloka that is the fourth shloka of this stotram there are totally eight shlokas in this shuklam brahma vichara this is sharada sharadamba vande tam sharadam parameshwarim bhagavatim buddhi pradam who gives us the uh, buddhi that is she uh, she gives us an uh, uh, this thing um, uh, intelligence academic uh, learning is because of her shuklam shukla varnasa Uh, to indicate purity more than anything and uh, uh, brahma vichara sara paramam brahma vichare sara paramam she is the essence of brahma vichara when we do advaita vedanta vichara vedanta vichara or uh, uh, any discussion about the uh, truth brahma swarupa vishaye yadi vichara kriyate tarhi tatra sara bhuta esha parama she is the ultimate essence of brahma vicharam adyam she is the first shakti uh, any communication starts with words right if, the, uh, if people were just existing if you um, know this kavya there is a shlokam in kavya darsha the beginning first shloka there is idam andham tamakritsnam jayeta bhuvanatrayam yadi shabdahvayam jyotihi aa samsaram nadipyate shabdam is your jyoti which lights up the entire world otherwise the world will be completely immersed in darkness so she is the first shabda brahma swarupam there so adyam jagat vyapinim she uh, uh, the, we talk of her as the shakti which envelops the entire world 
the uh, form for her is veena pustaka dharini she has a veena and a pustakam on her hand abhayadam she gives uh, protection abhay abhaya mudra api dadati dadati jadya andhakara apaham jadyam andhakaram she removes the ignorance which is, ignorance makes one really dull or where the buddhi doesn't even function so she removes that uh, uh, cover of fog that is there in the form of ignorance in our mind apaha haste sphatika malikam she has patika mala in her hand vidadatim padmasane samsthitam haste sphatika sphatika malikam vidadatim she is having a sphatika mala sphatika malika padmasane samsthitam she is also sitting in a padmasana posture so tam vande buddhi pradam sharatam शुक्ला ब्रह्म विचार सार परमा आद्या जगद्व्यानी वीणा पुस्तक धारिणी अभयदा जड्यांधकार अपहां हस्ते स्फाटिक मलिका विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदे तां परमेशरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा ई थिंक दिस बुक् इज देर एंड इट इज बीन शेर्ड इन द ड्राइव सो You can take a look. If you see, the Rachaita here is uh, Krishna Macharya, and um, there are about twenty-two essays in this. Okay, totally twenty-two essays. Uh, the first one is Samskrita Bhasha. So one of you can start reading. We can go um, paragraph by paragraph. and you can say the meaning. So this is like the Bodhini class or the Katha Valleri class. So भाषाजेस भाषा उपयोग <laughs> उपयोग सो दि यूस भाषाभिप्राय शक्य आविष्कर्तुं apridana yeah. you you uh, so the first part should make sense separately here so cheshta mm-hmm. bihi swabiprayah shakyate avishkartum if you also look at the writing style of these authors this author mm-hmm. especially so he will give give it like this shakyate avishkartum then you will have to change it to avishkartum shakyate it is possible mm-hmm. to bring out अवर अभिप्राय स्व अभिप्राय शक्य है आविष्कर Uh, gestures also, so, so you can use also, gestures to bring out your although you can use gesture okay. with gestures yeah it is possible avishkartum hmm. tatapi uh, so uh, no. uh, to ex- to express i think avishkartum is express right avishkartum shakyate it is possible to express um, still or um, yet bhashaya tatohi bhashaya tatohi 
ಭಾಷೆಯಾ ತಥೋ ಹಿ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟತೆಯ ಚಮತ್ಕಾರೇಣ ಚ ಸ್ವಾಶಯ ಶಕ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಸ್ವಾಶಯ ಸ್ವ ಆಶಯ ಶಕ್ಯತೆ ಆವಿಷ್ಕರ್ತು ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ವಿಶ್ ಆಶಯ ಆಶಯ ಇಸ್ ಇಷ್ಟ ಇಚ್ಛಾ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಅಭಿಪ್ರಾಯ okay hmm. so when it says chamatkaran means you can express it in a striking way yeah challa yes in a alaga with more in, in a, a striking... more beautiful manner beautiful. or in a more striking manner with the language okay. bhashaya with language so, so not only you... oh, yeah hmm? so not only you can you express your opinion but you can also express it in a very uh, eloquent way or something eloquent way and even more clearer manner clear. okay with the clarity spashtata is clarity spashtasya bhavah spashtata so spashtataya with clarity and with the, uh, in a striking manner you can express your uh, this thing so, so i just uh-huh. want to jump with a question uh, so it's the exam related so yeah. in the, in the essay writing and the exam they would uh, look for this level of uh, essay writing high quality of essay writing you have to write two essays one is in sanskritam one is in english or uh, tamil whichever language you have chosen okay, okay. Mm-hmm. so you will have to know the idea that is there in this and try ah, to okay. write it in your mm-hmm. words okay you can say something like uh, swa abhipraya chesta bihi or uh, uh, jesta is gesture where uh, there is no other word for that you know mm-hmm. uh, uh, swa abhiprayam uh, avish kurvanti janaha parantu bhasham upayujya itopi spashtata vartate mm-hmm. you can simplify it in your own manner as long as you understand the import of it and keep it in your mind then you can use your own words to express it Okay. Should we write it as a Sandhi, like Swabhiprayaha or instead like a Swabhiprayaha? Can we write it? Swasya Abhiprayaha, Swabhiprayaha. It's a Samasthapadam. Samasthapadam. Okay. Ataha? Ataha Bhasha Sarvaihi Api Janaihi Adi Adi Adriyate 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 Tat Tat ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಸಂಬಂಧಿತ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಬ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಪುಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಬ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಅತಃ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಅತಃ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಭಾಷಾ ಸರ್ವೈ ಅಪಿ ಆಲ್ ಜನೈ ಅದ್ರೀಯತೆ ಆದ್ರೀಯತೆ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆದ್ರೀಯತೆ ಆನರ್ಡ್ okay it Honor. is considered regarded well so it is regarded well by oh, all by people by the respective okay it's re- regarded well by the respective uh, um, um, what sect of people rashtriya sambandhitaya ha tat tat rashtra sambandhitaya sarvaihi janaihi adriyate because this language has a connection with the each and every uh, uh, region yeah, yeah, yeah. because of that sambandha because of that connection it mm-hmm. is uh, well regarded by all people so bhasha iyam bhasha tat tat rashtrena saha sambandha iyam bhasha asya bhasha ya vartate tasmat sarvaihi janaihi iyam bhasha adriyate two sentences here okay, okay. Ah. then imah bhasha bahavo vyavaharan vyavakriyante vyavakriyante yata ಮಹಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೈ ಮಹಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಭಾಷಾ ಗುಜರಾತೀಯೈ ಗುಜರಾತಿ ಕಾ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕೈ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಭಾಷಾ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ರೀಜನಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ರೀಜನಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ಸೊ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಮಹಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮಹಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಗುಜರಾತಿ ಗುಜರಾತ್ ಇಸ್ ಗುಜರಾತಿ and mm. karnataka has uh, kannada okay so import purunjurtu but what is the word by word how do you do that bahavaha imaha bhashaha many of these languages that is tat tat rashtriya sambandhitaya esha bhasha vartate tarhi rashtra sambaddha bhashaha 
Kaha, Imaha, Bashaha, Bahavaha, many of these languages are being spoken Vyavakriyante. Hmm. It is in uh, Karmani Prayoga, Vyavakriyante. Uh, 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 it, it is being spoken, for example, by uh, Maharashtra people as uh, Marathi language. So, hmm. Maharashtra Bhasha. Uh, I think this is, there is a wrong. Maharashtra Bhasha. Gujarati, Aihi, Gujarati. By the people who belong to Gujarat, they, uh, it is spoken as Gujarati. Karnataka, Aihi. By those people who reside in Karnataka, there is a Karnata Bhasha or Kannada Bhasha. Hmm. Sarva Api Eta Bhavaha Pradhasha. Bashaha or Baba? I was reading from the textbook. Okay. Oh, no, no. Inge vana patru mo. Do you want oh, this uh, bigger? No, no, no. That's okay. Oh, okay. I'm fine. I can expand it. No problem. Imaha Bashaha Bahavo Vyava Vyavat. Ah, adha idte. Adha idte. Adha idte. Sorry. Sarva api eta Bashaha pradhanyena pradha pradhanyena tat desha parimita ha sarva api all uh, of these Vita, all of these uh, languages pradhanyena tat dhesha parimita uh, so it's uh, pradhanyena is it's impo uh, important in, in, importantly in, huh? in uh, uh, pradhanyam is mainly pradhanyena mm. mainly these all of these languages parimitaha that is it is bound by that particular uh, uh, that that desha <laughs> Uh, but, so, but in the desh. previous one and this one is almost the same. Ah, Puriyarda, now you realize how he is only repeating the same idea, yeah. Yeah. but he is constructing the sentence in different ways. Oh, right. right. So, Tattat Rashtra Sambandhitaya is the same as Tattat Desha Parimitaha. Yeah. But Atra, what he is trying to say here is Bhasha Sarvaihi Janaihi Adriyate. Language in general is being regarded well by people because it connects them in that particular uh, rashtram. Then he lists what are all the languages that are connected by the uh, area. Then he says all of these languages are mainly spoken only within that particular desham. Mm -hmm. So we are still talking. He then comes to that particular language. Oh. Now he goes to Sanskrita Bhasha, which is global. Okay, so he says it's predominantly spoken by only hmm. those respective people. Okay. Yeah. Sanskrita Bhasha tu na kevalam tasya chit deshasya bhasha apitu sarvasyaiva prapanchasya sambandhini. So he says hmm. Sanskrit um, Sanskrit alone is uh, na not, kevalam, not, not only. only it's not only uh, the country's bhasha or the language of the country, but also language of entire, one particular country. One, one country, hmm. But it's of the entire world. Prapancham yes, it has a it is connected with the entire world. World. Prapancham hmm. the world varma universe no varma. I'm just asking. Prapancham. Prapanchana universe and so on. The Prapanchana is a very good Sanatana than Marcun Cholambo. I was just wondering. So it is also dependent on the context where it is being used. The Prapancha can also mean Vistaraha. So Grantha Prapanche. Then you say in the world of literature. So it uh, depends on where you use it. So here you can say Sarva Seva Prapanchasya in the entire universe because I am to Deva Bhasha Iti Adriyate. So you can do that also. <laughs> okay. Samskritam nama Devi Vaka Iti Budaihi Nigadhyate. So Samskritam nama Devi Vaka. So it's the, um, it's a, what? Uh, divine language. Divine, yeah, divine, divine language. Speech. Okay. What is ah, Budha? Budha is a, an intelligent person. So, by the okay. scholars, Nigadhyate, it is spoken by the scholars in this manner. Gairvani, Devavani, Ityadiopi, Shabdaha, Sanskrita, Bhasha, Pariyayataya, Nirdishyante, Nirdishyante. So it's also called as Gairvani, right? Gairvani. Yes. 
Devavani, then um, uh, so there are extra other words as well. Sanskrita Bhasha Pariyaya. So it's uh, uh, what's the name? These words are also indicated. Shabdaha mm Nirdishyante. -hmm. These words are also indicated okay. as synonymous to Sinan Sanskrita Bhasha. Yeah, uh, Sanskrit Bhasha. Mm -hmm. Yajna Yagadishu Devataradhane Paitra uh, Paitra uh, Kavidhau Paitrika Vidhau Paitrika Vidhau Sarvatra Jata Karmadishu Samskrit uh, Samskareshu uh, Iameva Bhasha Sarva Rashtra Vasibihi Vyava uh, Vyava uh, Hriyante Vyavhriyate Vyavhriyate Yegna, so this uh, the language, this is the language for uh, all yegyas, for uh, devata aradhana, for prayers. Hmm. Uh, then all pitri, is that pitri karya? Yes, pitri karma, yeah. paitrika, pitri vidhi, pitri vidhi pitri are uh, niyamas, hmm. the hmm. Uh, rules for answer, whatever you do, samskaras and pitri vidhi that you do, uh, for that also. For that also. And uh, all, what is that, jata karma dishu, jata Jata karma, uh, nama karanam, these nama are karma. samskaras. There are 42 samskaras. And okay. uh, for all, during all those samskaras also, yameva bhasha, this bhasha is being this used, bhasha. vyavakriyate, by yeah. sarva, sarva vasi bihi. So by all those living in uh, Bharat, hmm. sarva in, in the entire uh, country. Country. Okay. Uh, next, Shankari Mahabu, do you want to go? Sam Purvakat, Krudhatoho, Nishta Pratye, Bhushanarte, Sudagamecha, Samskritam iti, Shabdo, Nishpanaha. The word Samskritam is derived from the verbal root Kru using the prefix sam, uh, adorning with the Nishta suffix. Ha, the Nishta Pratyaya is used in the sense of Bhushana. So, Bhujanarthe oh, okay. Nishta Pratyayaha Tatra Upayuktaha Bhavati. Okay. And the okay. 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 Can you repeat that, Mahadeya? Okay. So, Sam Purvakat, Sam Eva Atra Upasargaha Asti. In the word Samskritam. Then you have Kri Dhatuhu. Nishta Pratyaya is the Krita, Kta Pratyaya, which is a Nishta Pratyaya. It is a technical term, which you use in Vyakaranam. But mm -hmm. why is that Pratyayam uh, uh, used there? What is the meaning in which that Pratyaya is used? It is used in the meaning of Bhushana Arthe. Oh, for the uh, embellish. Ah, so, Samskritam, the, the word, the Tha Pratyaya is put only when there is a meaning of Bhushanam or embellishment. When the meaning of embellishment has to be expressed, we put in the Pratyaya Nishtha mm -hmm. or Kta. Is that then, just for this word or for Nishta Pratyaya, Tha Pratyaya, for all other Dhatus also like that or just for then this? We need to check Panini for that, uh, what okay. he says. Okay, okay. Um, uh, Samskrita Bhasha iti padena samskaram upagata bhasha iti artho bhavati. Um, the term uh, Samskritam implies that it is a cultured and refined language. Hmm. Uh, some pari, one minute. The six one one thirty seven gives you some pari upe bhyaha karotau bhushane. Some pari upa ityete bhyaha bhushanarthe karotau kridhato ho parataha sut kat purvaha bhavati. So some karta. So bhushanartha sut agamam. Mm -hmm. So the bhushanartha is for sut agamam. But yeah, correct. Anala vada pate. Uh, not um, for nishtha nishtha yes, pratyaye sudaga mahatu bhushanarthe bhavati huh. yeah that makes sense because kta is used everywhere everywhere correct yeah that won't yeah. be uh, bhushanarthi okay mm. now, what is the uh, sutra mahodi uh, 61 137 uh, okay. samparyupebhya karotau bhushane Mm -hmm. Can you insert that over here? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are anyway connecting it, so it, it will be yeah. easier for us. Yeah. Six one one sixty three. Six. 
ரிஃபைன்மெண்ட் பிரிஃபோர் that which was created before iti prakritam that's one of the uh, way of saying it so you refine that prakrit bhasha and then sanskrit came afterwards but there are other people who also think the other way around the sanskritam was there first and then the colloquial version of sanskritam is prakritam mm-hmm. so uh, it need not come from yeah it did not have come from prakritam but it is more like prakrita in the sense prakrita prakriti nam bhasha prakritam iti those who the subjects prakriti ityukte prajaha prajanam bhasha iti karanat prakrita bhasha that's what we read in uh, abhijna hmm. the pali yes. and all hmm. apare uh, sarvasam api bhasha nam bhushana rupatvena vartamanatvat iyam bhasha sanskrita shabdena மன்யன்தே <laughs> ஓகே <laughs> 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 Mm, others believe that uh, um, as this language serves as an ornament or bhushanam and is a root language for other languages this is called uh, sanskritam mm, okay vyavakriyate iti manyante so this language yam bhasha sanskrita shabdena vyavakriyate this language is being called with the word sanskritam because வர்த்தமானத்துவாத பூஷண ரூபத்துவேன வர்த்தமான பிகாஸ் இட் எம்பிலிஷஸ் தி அதர் லாங்குவேஜஸ் தட் இஸ் சி வென் யூ லுக் அட் த லோக்கல் லாங்குவேஜஸ் விச் ஆர் தேர் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் சம் ஒன் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தட் இட் இஸ் அ சுத்த வே ஆஃப் ஸ்பீக்கிங் சே மராட்டி ஆர் ஹிந்தி ஆர் குஜராத்தி எனி திங் யூ புட் இன் சான்ஸ்கிரிட் வேர்ட்ஸ் தென் இட் பிகம்ஸ் மோர் ஆர்னமெண்டட் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் கன்சிடர்ட் ஆஸ் ஓ தே ஆர் ஸ்பீக்கிங் ப்ரௌட பாஷா நாலுமெண்ட்ஸ் <laughs> 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 okay they said i spoke parliament because my words if i could not find any word which is hindi or urdu based i would just substitute with sanskrit word <laughs> then it means it's a more scholarly language so it I ornaments the other languages <laughs> okay asyameva bhashayam chatvaro vedaha shadangani ashtadash puranani upapuranani bahuni kavyani cha virajante um the four vedas six vedangas 18 puranas uh, many upapuranas and uh, poems and literary works and all uh, flourish well in this language sanskrit yes. language mm. um nana vidhani jyotisha shastra ganita shastra adini bhashayam asyam eva nibandhani vartante uh, i think we should change this to jyotisha hmm. shastra uh, works on uh, um, other disciplines like astronomy maths uh, um, all those uh, sciences uh, hmm. um, the, the literary works are composed in this sanskrit language yeah nibaddhani they are composed uh, composed 
किम बहुना वॉट मोर टू से अबउट दिस आयुर्वेद गांधर्वेदादय सर्वे ग्रंथ तत्त ज्ञान विज्ञान विधान भूता भाषाया उपलभ्य विज्ञान निधान भूता ओके वेरियस् टेक्स्ट बुक्स विच सर्व एज ट्रेशर्स ऑफ नॉलेज इंटिफिक नॉलेज scientific knowledge uh, on subjects such as ayurveda which is a herbal medicine gandharva veda is a music celestial mm. music etc they are all found in this uh, sanskrit language mm. sarve granthah upalabhyante kutra etasyam bhashayam they are found in this language mm. um भौतिक विज्ञान से आध्यात्मिक ज्ञान से उपलभ्याय चयमे भाषा सर्वे प्राचीन सामद्रीयते अवर आंसेस्टर्स वेनरेटेड दिस लैंग्वेज सांस्क्रिट लैंग्वेज फॉर एक्वायरिंग नॉलेज ऑन various uh, physical and uh, spiritual sciences okay so uh, upalambhah is uh, labhate and then upalambhah okay to attain the uh, noun form of it sarvasya uh, api bhautika gnanasya bhautika is more like geographical right Uh, physical, physical sciences uh, uh. Hmm, physical sciences and spiritual sciences so why, that which is outside and that which is inside which is referring to the atman so adhyatmika gnanasya upalambhaya yeme va sarvaihi prachinai samadriyata this is in uh, not samadriyate but it is in uh, uh, past tense langlakara sarveshvapi pascha वर्तते एव so there is a position for sanskrit in the paschatya desha vishwavidyalaya vishwavidyalaya is university paschatya is western countries so in the universities of the western in all the universities uh, of the western countries sanskrit definitely has a sthana position hmm. आधुनिक विज्ञान विषया बहव प्राचीन संस्कृत ग्रंथे सूचिता प्राच्य विज्ञान कुशलाय ओरियंटल सैंस एक्सपर्ट but uh, just refining that that uh, mm. scholars they are of the opinion that, uh, like modern scientific knowledge is also found in the ancient language sanskrit textbooks mm. okay so prachina sanskrita granthai suchitaha eva they they have been indicated in the suchitaha so uh, uh, the the adhunika vijnanam the modern science the uh, topics of modern science or the concepts of modern science many of those concepts have been indicated by the uh, old ancient sanskrit texts iti this is the opinion of the uh, oriental scholars hmm. uh, uh, na kevalam bharate deshe sarveshu rashtreshu apitu उपखंडेशु अपी सर्वेशु पाश्चात्य देशेशु विज्ञानी भी समाद्रियते इयम सुरसरस्वती दिस सुरसरस्वती सांस्क्रिट लैंग्वेज इज रिवियर नॉट ओनली बाय साइंटिस्ट विद इन इंडिया बट आल्सो बाय इन अदर कंट्रीज एंड सबकॉन्टिनेंट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इंक्लूडिंग Uh, various western na- nations uh, bharat deshe sarveshu rashtreshu so rashtram here would be the states not only in the in all the states in india but also in the uh, uh, western countries of the other continents hmm? sura saraswati is subcontinent ah, subcontinents yes 
and uh, in in the entire subcontinent and uh, other western countries em sura saraswati is divine speech sura na devaha so tesham saraswati vak atayeva atrantare vishva samskrita sammelanam iti namna yatra kwapi prapanje ekasmin deshe prativarsham sammilanti samskrita vidvamsah tattat upakhandavasinah suprasiddhah that's why during the annual uh, vishva samskrita sammelanam the meet annual sanskrit meet world, world global sanskrit meet, conference world madri global meet Uh, the well known uh, sanskrit scholars and uh, respected uh, famous local personalities they all meet in uh, one unique place every year they meet in a certain place in the world yatra kwapi somewhere in the world ekasmin deshe in one country prativarsham every year sammelanti they get together who are they sanskrit scholars and tatta dupakanda vasinah and those locals like upakanda is the subcontinent uh, vasinah those who stay in that particular place who are very famous huh. do, do we know where they met last year a world sanskrit conference you go and search in google there are actually many places they meet i think last time it was uh, in uh, australia wala engyo somewhere they had met there was one world sanskrit conference in india that i think there have been two uh, till now in india oh, okay. mm. um here sarva uh, sarvam mm. uh, sarva uh, sarva vasudha sambandhitaya asyaah bhashayaah vasudhaiva kutumbakam iti udara charitam api anayaiva bhashaya यूनिवर्सल ब्रदरहुड सिंगल यूनिवर्सल ब्रदरहुड सिंगल फैमिली ऑल दीज कॉन्सेप्ट द ग्लोबल कॉन्सेप्ट आर ऑल अचीवेबल ओनली थ्रू द सैंस्क्रीट लैंग्वेज that that's uh, it has been proclaimed by the uh, western scholars just a minute i'm recording ha sarva uh, sarva vasudha sambandhitaya asyaah bhashayaah first translate that part and then come illana with this big sentence it becomes a huge uh, mess then ha huh? yeah okay. go For word by word and tell of the globally related um the, the single universal brotherhood and um, the entire viewing the entire world as a single family all this is achievable only through sanskrit language mm. so proclaim the western scholars and uh, linguistic scholars ah uh, prachya is uh, oriental scholars paschatya oh, no. is uh, uh, western scholars it is being proclaimed by these scholars that sarva vasudha sambandhitaya asyaah bhashayaah this language has a connection with the entire world so that that is why words like these are possible only through uh, this language iti udara charitam api udara charitam api kenna sunnel generous generous hmm generous avada this kind of a universal thought process liya ah uh. udara charitam hmm okay. accommodative maybe accommodative accommodative uh, uh, um, udara charitam accommodative thought can occur okay Magnanimity. yeah magnanimity hmm okay yeah um, um, broad minded broad uh, broad minded nature can be achieved All only through this language it's not all inclusive uh, thought process mari le yeah? all inclusive ama um, it's like that yes vasudheva kutum i am nija parava vyakti ganana lagu chetasam le adla thana varu ante vasudheva kutumbakam udara charitanam tu vasudheva kutumbakam is the shloka or the original shloka i am nija i am paraha iti yaha vyakti satu lagu chetasam the very small minded people think in this manner but broad minded people they will think that vasudhaiva udara charita naam tu vasudhaiva kutumbakam iti asti see um, ah. this uh, 
Vasudeva, if you split, is there a separate meaning there? Vasudeva? Yes, Vasudha Eva Kutumbakam. Vasudha Eva Kutumbakam. Mm. The, the Kutumbakam is family. Vasudha, yeah. Vasudha. the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Anyway, it all started with one uh, parent, the entire mm. world population. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Sarva prapanja praja samudayasya yeka kutumbakatva vyavaharaha sarva prapanjana sambandinya yeka 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 Go slow, go slow. Here. Sarva prapanja praja samudayasya. Ah, prapanja jana sambandinya. Oh, oh, oh. Is it praja? In my book it's saying like that. I'm reading from my book. Okay. Sarva prapanja praja samudayasya. Yeka uh. Kutumbakatva Vyavaharaha Sarva uh. Prapanja Jana Sambandi. Ah, uh. okay. Eka That's what I'm Veva. There is something missing then in the. Mm, no, no, no. It's correct. Uh, the, I got confused with the first word and the uh, second word. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sarva Prapanja Jana Sambandi. Yeka Ya Yeva Basha Ya Bhavitu Marhati Na Anyata. Um, the universal citizenship and uh, like a single go global family, all these concepts are achievable only if there is a single common language used throughout the world. If you have ah, any the citizenship, <laughs> where did you get the Sarva Prabancha Praja Samudaya? That is global living. That's all. It is not a citizenship or anything, but it is more like Sarva Prapanchasya Prajanam Samudayaha. Samudayaha is a, uh, uh, it's like a, an assembly of all of the people in the world. That is, Samudaya is like a collection, a collection of all people in the world. Eka Kudumbakatva Vyavaharaha, the, the concept of one family. Sarva prapancha, both of these are possible only with a basha, ekaya eva bashaya bhavitum arhati, which has a connection with the people of the entire world. Sarva prapancha, sarva prapancha sya jananam sambandhinya eva bashaya, eka kutumbakatva vyavaharaha bhavitum arhati. Sarva prapancha jananam samuhaha vartate, ityayam vyavaharaha api, anaya bashaya eva bhavitum arhati. Na anyatha, not otherwise. So there the, are two the things that. Pra, the hmm. pra, sarva pra, prajana citizenship, sarva prapanja prajana universal. Uh, prajana manusha, not citizenship. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Ah, prajaha janaha. Okay. Subjects na artho. Okay. Or citizens. The samudayam, uh, the, the uh, collection of all of the citizens of this entire world. Abdi the na? samudayam is like a sect of people, Mandi. Ah, all sect of people. See, it, it results in citizenship, uh, global citizenship. That is correct. Ah. Okay. Ado, in the world, uh, the uh, ultimate result of this word is that we want to treat all of the people in this world as belonging to one community. One family. Mm. Uh, one community, then one family. Apdi. So, Praja Samudaya Hangarche, what you talk about global citizenship is what he intends. But the literal meaning of the words is very different. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. um, so he gives uh, the shloka here. Sambandinya iti ekaya bhashaya. These three uh, go uh, together like, here. Um, Sambandatvat, uh, right? Uh, like huh. Panchami Arte, right? Uh, because uh, of uh, its connection with the en entire world, no, this no, no. bhasha can be. No, this is an adjective to bhasha. Hmm. Sambandhat, Atava Sambandhena. Huh? No, hmm. Sambandaha, Asyaha, Asti, iti Sambandhini, asti iti bhasha. Sambandhi. Ah, uh, uh, correct. Hmm. Okay. It's okay. So, yeah, not Panchami. It is Tritiya. Yeah, it is Tritiya. But, mm. but what she is, I, I think I understand what you're trying to say. You're saying that Tritiya mm. can be Hetu Tritiya, right? Uh -huh. Correct. Uh, so, uh -huh. Sarva but... Prapancha Jananam Sambandaha Asyaha Bhashayaha Vartate Ti Karanathu Anaya Bhashaya Eva Ekatva Vyavaharaha Bhavitu Marhati. Correct? Mm. 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 But correct. the word mm. here is given as a visheshanam for a bhasha. Ah, correct. It is Somebody not a hetu. Iti, you, ah, ah. Correct. Mm. 
Yeah, I got it. But uh, the meaning of purport is like that, right? Uh, yes. Because yes. it you is can, connected. Uh, correct. You can also uh, write it as Esha Bhasha mm. uh, Prapancha Jananam uh, uh, Janan, uh, you know, Ekatri Karoti. Mm. In the mm. sense, it just brings uh, about people together. Because it is mm. uh, spoken, uh, spoken and it is also the parent language for many languages. So it brings in everybody. Mm. So it is connected with everybody. Sambadha vartati, mm. esha bhasha, tasmat mm. karanat, anaya bhashaya. Mm. Then you go with that. Mm. 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 So every word here can actually be broken into smaller, simpler sentences. Mm. Mm. Correct. Udhar charita anantu. Purila na, Lata. In a, instead of English, we have to make Sanskrit as a universal language. That's yes, I mean. Abhingra. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Udhar Udhar charita naam tu vasudheva kutumbakam iti sukti hi anaya samskrita bhashaya kevalam samarthi itum shakyate. Uh, that is popular saying the generous the entire for the generous the entire world is his family. This uh, popular uh, saying is justifiable only through Sanskrit language, yes. not by any other language. Yeah. Um, Sarvasam api uh, pashatya bhasha nam samskrita bhashaya sambandaha drudhataraha vartate eva iti uh, sarvehi pashatya vidvadbihi bhasha shastra dwara nirupitam eva. Um, it has been proven, demonstrated uh, by the Western linguistics. Um, uh, by the Western the, scholars. Uh, uh, Western scholars. Uh, that all the Western languages have a strong connection with the Sanskrit language. Hmm. There is definitely a strong connection. There is a stronger connection with the Sanskrit uh, uh, for the uh, uh, Western languages. This is Iti Sarvaihi Paschatya Vidbadbihi Bhasha Shastra Dwara. Bhasha Shastram is philology. They have shown this, they have uh, uh, proven this through philology. Philology is uh, uh, comparing languages, is a, is a study of comparison of languages. Okay, this Dhrudha Taraha is the stronger connection. Yes. So, is there a comparison or not here? It yes, there is a comparison because... in the sense so the Sanskrit is more connected to other languages than your other local languages. So, why they have not used the Dhrudha Tama, but it's Dhrudha Tara. Mm, there could be another language which is also connected uh, very strongly. So, we don't know. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Um, Yevam uh, Khanda uh, Kandantareshu Bahubihi Panditaihi uh, Adyatya Diyamana Adyapi Adyapi Adyamana uh, Vimrishyamana Chabasha Samskritam Yekam Eva Iti Asyaha Basha Yaha Sarvasu Basha Su Vishishtam Sthanam Vartate Ityatra Nasti Vishayaha Leshato Api Leshataha Api um, the, the Sanskrit, there is not even a slightest doubt that um, of all the languages of the world, Sanskrit is the only language that is still being studied even today. And it is uh, pondered upon by many scholars in uh, various continents and uh, subcontinents of the world. <laughs> Full summary clean on Kurtu Rail. And I can the word by word, Ilana. I'm lost in these big sentences. <laughs> okay, let's go word by Ah, it is nasty. Vishayaha, Leshataha, Api. There is not even one single doubt. Vishayaha, Samshayaha, both are same. Uh, uh, there is not at all any doubt that Asyaha Bashayaha, Sarvasu Bashashu, Vishitam Stanam Vartate. There is a, a, a distinguishable, distinct place for this language among all languages. Iti Samskritam Ekameva, Evam Kanda Kandantareshu, Bahubihi Panditaihi, 
adhyapi adhiyamana this language sanskritam is the only language that is being studied adhiyamana that is being studied and vimrishyamana being analyzed by many scholars even today adhyapi in many continents and subcontinents khanda khandantareshu or in many 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 other uh, uh, continents right iti uh, because of this Uh, asya the the this uh, language because of the fact that many scholars study and analyze this language even today it has a great position there is no doubt about this okay uh, so this if you go with the uh, whole essay the first part is just an introduction to tell you what is language why we need language and uh, what are all the different languages in the different uh, states and sanskritam is the only thing that connects globally all of these languages and then he goes into the essay as such the introduction part and then the let's say the body of the essay where you start with the definition of sanskritam you can even start with the start the essay with the definition of sanskritam that is also fine so sampurvaka kridatu he gives the definition that is the etymological derivation of that word and then with the derivation you have this part called bhushanartham why is it bhushanarthe sutagamaha that bhushanartham is uh, discussed in two three lines because there are many uh, works in this language and then there are other there are so many the the rather you know dayanand saraswati would usually uh, say that this language is both vast and deep if you think about it it is vast because there are so many branches of study written in this language and every branch is also been dealt with in depth so this language is also very deep the nobody does a, a, a single text and leaves that branch if, if you take one branch of study then there will be some uh, at least 100 books uh, of increasing depth in language also so the, the, then he talks about how it uh, connects the not only connects this country but it also connects the entire world uh, and it also has a, it he concludes by saying that it Uh, uh, it has a very great position because it is still being studied and analyzed by a lot of scholars both in india and outside of india okay so you can if you make a note of these points and then you can write the essay on your own okay suppose we have not covered all the 22 lessons before the exam date can we do our own reel yeah funny yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can write your own <laughs> if you want because you can just go through quickly what is the go- first you know you can do one thing you can check out uh, what are all the oft repeated essays let me deal with those first and then go to the other essays if you want it ah, finished ah, before the plan. exam mm-hmm. okay yeah mm-hmm. and i can also always rearrange it in the uh, b- uh, playlist so that's fine mm. we'll mm. do that okay yeah see you mm. namaste